On the fur side, Dobermans and Bosserons are pretty similar dogs, sharing similar size, body type, color and markings. But they are definitely not identical dogs as they have different history, utilization and temperament. In this video, I will tell you what are the similarities and differences between the Bosseron and Doberman. A person who owned or lived with Bosseron or Doberman would probably never confuse these breeds. But it is understandable that a person who does not normally encounter these breeds can confuse them. Probably the number one reason for this confusion is the color. Both breeds have black coat with rust markings on similar places. They are also similarly sized, they have similar body type and they can have both either natural or cropped ears. But their appearance is definitely not identical. The Doberman tends to be leaner, taller and it has sleek single coat. The Bosserons coat is much thicker and it is a double coat which can easily withstand harsh weather. Their fur is kind of more messy than the perfectly elegant Doberman's coat. Bosserons are also stockier dogs. They do not look that athletic and agile as Dobies but it is still very quick and athletic breed. The tail of Doberman is very often docked but Bosseron tail should always be naturally long. Another important appearance trait of Bosseron is double dewclaws on rear feet. Some Dobermans can have them too, but for Bosseron it is an important trait that vast majority of them have. It is also important to say that both dogs are not only in black and tan color even though it is by far the most common color combination in both breeds. Bosserons are occasionally in blue mottled with tan markings and Dobermans, depending on the breed standard, can be red and rust, blue and rust, fawn and rust or all black. But the real difference between these two breeds is not in their appearance but in their personality. And to understand their personality it's important to know the purpose, the utilization they were built for. Let's start with the Doberman. The Doberman was developed at the end of 19th century by German tax collector Louis Doberman as ideal breed for personal protection, which is their main purpose even today. Great emphasis were placed on the dog's courage, alertness, determination and confidence. On the other hand, the Bosseron's main utilization is not personal protection but working with livestock. They are excellent at both, herding it and guarding it. This breed is much older than Doberman and its history probably dates back to 1500s France where it was used as all around farm dog. So the Doberman was bred to primarily work with people while the Bosseron primarily worked with animals. Interesting fact is that it is very likely that Bosserons played a role in the Doberman's development. We are not 100% sure what exact breeds were used in Doberman creation, but most experts believe that it were Rottweilers, German Pinchers, Weimaraners and Bosserons, which would explain the similarities between these dogs. So now you know that both breeds are used for different tasks. Both are very successful at their jobs, but to be good at different jobs, they must have slightly different temperament. Both dogs are absolutely loyal and devoted to its people and family and they create strong bond with them. The Doberman, especially the European type of a Doberman, is high performance dog with very alert and sharp temperament. If they are not in their home, they are constantly scanning their surroundings for potential danger and they would definitely protect its owners if needed. On the other hand, the Bosseron is a little bit calmer and gentler dog, but they also have natural guarding instinct, but I would say that they are not as sharp as Dobermans. But of course, all these traits are also vastly influenced by early socialization, which is absolutely essential for both breeds. The Doberman is also more active breed. Don't get me wrong, the Bosseron definitely needs daily longer walks to stay healthy and happy. But after that, they will be absolutely happy to lay by your side and chill. The Doberman will also cuddle with you, but they will always be ready for any kind of action. If you want to do virtually any kind of activity, Doberman will gladly do it with you anytime. They just seem tireless. But again, it doesn't mean that Bosserons are couch potatoes, not at all, but they are definitely calmer than the Doberman. Neither of those two dogs have high prey drive as they were never used for hunting and thus they can both happily live with other household pets, especially if socialized together from the puppyhood. Bosseron can sometimes try to hurt other animals as it's their instinct, but again they should never harm them. 
The maintenance and grooming of both breeds is not hard, but the Bosseron sheds more than Doberman. Doberman's coat should be brushed from time to time and it's enough to keep it in excellent condition. The Bosseron's double coat should be brushed regularly in order to minimize the shedding and to remove any loose hair and dirt from it. The Bosseron sh really sheds quite a lot, much more than the Doberman, and you should be prepared for it. In a worldwide perspective, the Doberman is much more popular and common breed, which is probably a reason why I never heard a Doberman owner says that someone mistaken his dog with Bosseron, but I heard several Bosseron breeders say that people confuse their dogs quite often with Dobies. Tell me in comments if you own a Doberman or Bosseron and if you met people who mistaken your dog for another breed. Also tell me what do you like about those two breeds and what is your experience with them. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.